Hello everybody, I am here today doing a little unboxing of the September box for my creative, your create, your creative studio. I am so excited. Um, I was so lucky to be sent this in the mail. I need to just take this tape off while we're talking. I was lucky enough to be sent this in the mail. I feel so lucky that they wanted, they reached out and offered to send me one of these to do a little unboxing video for you guys. How exciting is that? So I want to share with you what's in this box and I can't wait to open it and see what is inside here. I have seen um, some people do the unboxing of the August box and it was so cute. So I'm really excited to have a look in here at the September box. Let's look inside. Oh my goodness, look at this. This tissue paper is beautiful. And this cute little business card. I can't wait to put this in my journal. That's so cute. There's this little candle on the back here. Um, this is really pretty. And this tissue paper is gorgeous. Let's just see if we can take this out carefully, carefully out of the box here. And I'll move that over to the side. I hope I'm still in frame. Let me just check. Yes, we are in frame. Let's just slide things out of this because... I don't want to damage this tissue paper. It's so adorable. Slide, carefully sliding it all out. Oh, so much in here. So there we go. We've got this cute tissue paper. Look at that. That's going to be so nice to use in collage. That's lovely. So I'll pop that over to the side there. And let's see all these treasures. These are nice. These are some nice paper. Um, they're about six by six just from the feels of them. Like they feel like the size of a six by six paper pad they are really really cool they have a really lovely kind of grungy vibe these would be really cool for collaging they actually are really thick i actually wonder if these are sticker paper let me have a look let me check these have a, the feel kind of of sticker paper they are look at that they peel up <gasps> that is even cooler than i thought that is super cool. That will make them so easy to collage with because they're sticker paper. That's awesome. And then here we've got these little cute stickers of these little lanterns. And they are, by the looks of things, yes, they are transparent stickers. They are cool. I like them. These have got a really great kind of almost dark spooky feel to them. I don't know. I like it. I think it's cool. I'm going to use some of these in my Halloween journal that I'm working on at the moment, my October daily, shall I say. So they are cool. I really like them. So what do we have here? This is These things, by the way, are packaged so freaking adorably. These are so cute. Look how much stuff is in this pack too. My goodness, there's a lot of stuff in here. I am spoiled. Oh, look. It's a little lantern charm. I'm going to have to attach that on. I think I'm going to attach it on my October daily. That's really cute. That is so sweet. They match really well with those stickers. So let's unpackage this. And we'll see what is in here. So let's have a little looky loo. These look cute. It's like a cute little envelope, like a Valamy kind of envelope. That is really sweet. And it's got this really beautiful twine around it pop that over there and then it's got this like little card I love using these cards in my journal too um the packaging is so cute it is so cute so it says 27 pieces I think that's what it's saying there this is adorable let's open it and have a little look in here so it's in this really cute little like vellamy envelope which I love love these little vellamy envelopes and I just have I don't own any myself I don't think so this is really cool that I've got these to use in my journal so this has just got a bunch of cute little pieces in here so there's this little tag with mushrooms on it some little pieces of paper so this is just like a little ephemera pack I'm guessing it's got these cute little pieces of paper with some fl florals and um, mushrooms and it's like layered up looking paper with um vintage looking paper behind it Here's another little tag. These are really cute, by the way. Memory Lane. These are really adorable. Look at these cute little things. These are really sweet. Like, I don't always... This looks like a washi sticker, kind of. There's a few of these. Like, square washi sticker type of things with the florals on it. These are cute. I don't use heaps of vintage. 
but I love adding little snippets of vintage things in with my bright colourful things and make it look really eclectic. So these will work really well in that sort of respect. Look how cute these little tags are. They're so sweet. And here's another one of those washi stickers. Really cute little tags. Oh, this one with the little bunny and the flowers. I like that one. That one's my favourite so far, I think. Some more little washi stickers, but these ones aren't squares. This is a little envelope. This is a little stamp looking one here. Little leaves on labels. Here is a little bouquet of roses. A moth that has kind of like a mushroom in it. And then some little cutie mushrooms. They're cute. I love, I love washi stickers. So I'm going to be really excited about using them. More little papery ephemery bits. These are really cute. I like this mushroomy one here. This is really nice. Oh, look at these. You can like fold them up into like little pouch envelope things. That is such a cute idea. Having these little die cut um, foldable envelopes. That is so sweet. I really like that idea. And then here we've got some. These are. Are these sticker paper too? I don't know. This one's a big sticker and I like that one. That one's got like these cute little like flowers on it. I like it a lot. This. I'm wondering if this is sticker paper too. It is. Oh la la. I love sticker paper. That's cute. These ones here are sticker paper. And I love those yellow flowers with the butterflies. That is so cute. I like that one a lot. So that's really cool that they're sticker paper. Man, this has got so many cool things in it. I'm really excited. Um, here is a little pack of envelopes. Let's just check if they are all the same. Let's have a little look-see. These are cute. Yes, they are all the same by the look of it. They are adorable. These are such tiny, like you can kind of see by my hand here how big that is. Um, it's like the size of like the palm of my hand kind of. They're quite little, really cute. These will make really great little tip-in pieces. I will tip these into my journals. I am quite sure that's what I will do with these. Um, they'll become little tip-ins and I can tuck little tags in. What is in this little pouch of goodness? called Cottage Garden. There's 60 pieces, so you get a lot in this. 60 pieces. So there's little squares. Oh, I like the texture of these. These are really cool. These have quite like a, almost like watercolour papery feel. Not quite, but I don't know. They've got a nice feel to them. These look like they're like little bits of paper that look like textures different textures of paper look like they've got little stains and they look like they're wrinkled but these will be handy because when you actually use tea stain wrinkly papers all layered up um they add a lot of a lot more bulk than just a flat bit of paper so having these flat bits of paper that have the look of wrinkled paper will come in handy these are cute these are super i love that fake cape that looks cool I like that. There's beautiful stains. Ooh la la. They are cool. So there's 60 pieces. These will be really good for collaging. That'll be really cool for that. Okay. Let's have a look here. Oh, this is a little notebook. Cute. Let's have a looky loo in here. So it's got this little vellum piece around it. See, this has been packaged beautifully beautifully if you are into things being packaged really nicely that will go on my journal then this is a really great little box for you this feels heavy oh wow look at the cool pages on the inside they are cool and they have a really interesting feel to them oh this is really this is almost what is this like it's really interesting. It's really textured and it's pretty thick. I don't know if you can tell from the sound of it. It's like a pretty thick weight here. Like that's really interesting. Hmm, that's really cool. And I like that it's kind of got that same grungy look on the inside as it does on the outside. That is fun. Here we go. These look like, what have we got next? Stickers. I'm thinking stickers from the looks. I love the packaging. Again, 
and I will be using this like back cardboard piece as like a little tip in somewhere in my journal that's really fun let's take a look at these stickers because they look cool safety matches it looks like there's two of each of them by the by the looks of it which is cool because then I can use one and hoard one these little mm, what are they called record player things I guess oh, I love this one this is the best place this has this place has the best entertainment and there's two cats in a fishbowl I love them I love cats and so I love those little stickers they are really awesome these ones have little bites oh more cats move the decimal one place then double it something didn't seem right though that is so cute I love these I love these little stickers with cats on it this is a cannabis one cannabis medicine oh I like this one this one's really cool this one has kind of oh and this next one too they kind of give me like tarot card vibes I like them Oh, pizza for president. I like that. That's really cool. I like that these are like got this vintage look, but they're kind of humorous at the same time. And like pizza. <laughs> Colgate. So it's like a toothpaste, I'm guessing, kind of thing. I don't know. Dental cream. Yes. They're a little bit stuck together, but that's all right. Then we've got these little ones with birds. Cinema. That's cool. I'm going to use these when I go to the movies. I'm planning a trip to the movies with my mum sometime soon so I'll use that then this one has a little dog that's so cute this is upside down what's this one Ooh, obey propaganda make art not war I like that 15 that would actually be kind of good as a date number in one of my journals I might use that on the 15th I think that would work really well actually Oh, Louis Vuitton. Cool. Fancy, thanks. Um, make Art Not War again. I really like that. That's really cool. I must have these upside down. The original ride. I used to love combi vans. They are cool. Uh, this woman. Black and white. That's a vintage camera, which is cool. I have a photography job coming up soon, so I might use that on that page. Uh, phonographs. Oh, this looks like an old uh, French poster or something. That one's really pretty. The Better Home and Gardens with all the florals on it. Oh, Grand Cat Show. I love the cats. You know I love the cats. That's so cute. I like this one too with the woman down the bottom. Oh, we're on the cat one. It began as a disagreement and they're fighting. I love that. I love that so much. That is so cute. Violins. Oh, another cat one. Everybody knew the words. Oh, I love these cat stickers. They are so cool. The Eiffel Tower. Oh, and I love this. I am a self-made man. No one ever gave me anything. Look at that adorable little dog. They are so cute. Man, they make me so excited. I love those little cat and dog stickers particularly. They are so adorable. They are so cute. Right, let's move on to the next one. I don't want this video to take forever. I like this little top labely part too and it's an envelope set so that's cute let's take a look in here so it says romance let's have a look oh is this Bellamy envelopes again oh fancy I love the vellum envelopes let's have a look here you can see what it looks like like I hope I'm in frame here very pretty and then in the envelope is this little piece of paper and there's another piece of paper in there too. And it says, frivolous, tireless romance. And then there's this little cute flower, um, born as the bright summer flowers. How cute is that? And it looks as if, the yeah it is, this little vase, this gold vase is printed on the envelope. But the flower, when you put the piece in, sits really beautifully. So it looks like it's kind of sitting in the vase. But you can take it out and it just has this little kind of geometric vase and it says and I have dreams as if in space I think <laughs> it's kind of hard to read it's in cursive and it's very shiny and gold but that's really pretty I like that I love the Velamy envelopes they are really nice and you get three of them oh is there something else in there there is is this a little 
it's a little seal sticker that's really cute and it's got like these little kind of gold leaves i hope you can see that there little gold leaves on it i am thinking it's a clear sticker but i'm gonna test that i'm just gonna peel it off a little way to see if i'm correct or if it's white either way would be really pretty can i get it to peel up i think i'm right i think it's clear yep it's a clear sticker with these little gold leaves that's really pretty they are really nice and I guess you can use it to seal the envelope shut which is a really sweet little idea I like that that was that um business card that we saw at the start let's have a look in one of these oh cling stamp <gasps> wow even stamps in here I just want to save these stickers don't ruin it Lydia to see what you can save because I love to save everything to add to my journals so this will be going all of these things will be going in my October daily journal let's have a look what's in here Oh, it's a cute little lantern. This has got a really cute little lantern feel. Like there was the little lantern um, charm and what was the other lantern thing that I saw? Oh, the, the clear stamps that it came with. That's super cool. So I'm guessing you peel off the plastic layer here and stick it on a one of those, hmm, you know what they're called. So you peel up the plastic, stick that onto... Have I got one of those nearby? Let's, I do. Let's test out the stamp. These little clear pieces. Stick it on there. And we will give this a little tester, shall we? Let me see if I've got any ink pads nearby. I do. Let's have a look at it in hot pink, because that is what we have near us. Let me find a little piece of paper. I say find a piece of paper. There is hundreds of bits of paper near me, so we're going with this scrap. That will work well. And we will try it in hot pink because I've got hot pink and I've got bright tealy coloured ink right next to me. So we're going to try it like this and I'll hopefully have ink on everything. Let's have a go. Wow, there is a lot of detail in that. That is surprising. I hope you guys can see this properly. But there is a lot of detail there. I really hope you can see that. There, yeah, look at it. Look at how much detail. That's lovely. That is a really pretty stamp. I like that. Let's have, oh, there's another one. Oh, more cling stamps. Cute. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Let's peel it up carefully again. Another one. Oh, there's, there's more than one in here. There's three. Whoa. I am spoiled. Let's just stamp that off again just to get all the ink off of it so that we can put it away. Um, right now, can I carefully peel this off again? Because that is stuck on there, man. That might live there. Who could say? Let's just do these ones by hand without sticking them onto anything because I'm not sure if I can get them off again so we're going to give this just a go by hand let's put some ink on the hot pink archival ink let's have a go at stamping that down oh okay that's where it's going wow that's really pretty I love these little candles with the little handles candles with handles you know those candlestick things that you Hold. I love them. I remember having them as a kid and that when all the power would go off we would get them out and we would light candles and so that has really fond memories attached to it. I really like that. And again, it's so detailed. That's really beautiful. Let's let's be crazy and wild and go with teal. This paradise teal colour for the other two and give them a try. This one's just a little bitty guy. Teeny tiny baby candle. Oh, that's cute too. Oh, these are adorable. Let's just stamp these off. Get rid of any of that extra ink on there. That's so cute. Look at that. I think I'm going to use that tiny baby candle um, on the bottom of some of my pages when they, there's birthdays. I feel like, you know, like when my niece turns one or something, having that little candle stamped on the page would be cute. Or, you know, someone turning five, having them five stamped. I think that would look really cute somewhere on a page. 
Um, so I think I'm going to use that teeny tiny little tiny candle um, for like a birthday candle sort of thing. Little celebration. I like that idea. And then there's one more really cool big candlestick with a twisty, like this, the candlestick part is really twisty and interesting. So let's have a go with this. I really hope I'm on frame. Wow, I got kind of a funny double impression there. But you can see what I'm looking at. It's impressive. It is so detailed. And you can see that little baby tiny stamp there. Look at how detailed these stamps are. They are amazing. Wow. They are so cool. That is a lot of stuff. Oh, we've still got these two things. Man, I thought we must be done by now. There is a lot in these boxes. That is a lot of stuff, actually. Washi tape, washi 009. I'm guessing 009 because this is the September box. It's October now, but this is the September box. So let's have a look at this washi tape. Ooh, oh, it's got more candlesticks on it. Cute. It's got actually, they are the exact candlesticks. Well, that one is the tiny baby candlestick. That's really cute. And it's got that kind of grungy look with the. Um, really beautiful calligraphy kind of text and behind it that's very cool that's a really cool washi tape and then what is this label original sticker brick what is a sticker brick let's find out shall we I think it's label stickers oh my goodness there are so many look how many label stickers you get in these three different colors Oh my goodness, look how many. That is a sticker brick. A brick of stickers. My goodness. And this could not have come at a better time because I am getting really low. I say low. Honestly, I still have a lot of label stickers. But I love this sort of type of label sticker because they're just so usable. And look, they've got the green, you get the blue, and you get the red. I think, honestly, the red is my favorite, which I wouldn't have picked for myself. But I do really love the red label stickers. These are a really nice size too. They're a little bigger than the red labels that I have that I use quite often. Let me see if I can find them somewhere. I have these. Oh, I'm making a mess here. Jeepers. Trying to get my journal out. So I have this little pocket in the back and I often keep some of my most my go-to label stickers in there. But it would seem that I don't have any at the moment, of course. Right when I want to show them, I don't have them on me. But I have these other little label stickers, which are probably maybe like half or a third of the size of these, which I use all the time. But this is a really nice size. Um, I really like that size. That's going to be really handy. So that is my incredible box from Your Creative Studio. I will have all the links for this stuff down below. Thank you so much, Your Creative Studio, for sending me this. I am really excited about it. I love it. Um, so... Guys, go and check out their stuff. It is really cool. And you get a lot in these boxes. There is a lot in here. I hope you really enjoy them. I um, hope you, if you've ordered them, that you really love it. Because this is seriously cool. There is a lot. And if you are a vintage lover particularly, I think you're going to love this stuff. So head on over and check them out. Thank you again, Your Creative Studio. I have loved unboxing this. You guys have some cool stuff. So thank you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it for you. Unboxing is fun. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.